Hey guys, what's up? It's DJ27 here, and today, ooh, today, today I'm back here with another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 multiplayer gameplay. Um, I kind of wanted to do a series where I kind of just talked over the gameplay and told a story. So that's what I'm going to be doing today, guys. If you want more of this, leave a like down below and comment below and let me know and while you're at it subscribe if you aren't already so yeah let's get right into the story all right so this story takes place about a few years ago it was in eighth grade and you know in eighth grade you're like at that point in your life where you know what's wrong and you know it's dumb but you really want to do it anyways just to do it so that's exactly what me and my friends decided to do one day so lunch was always kind of hectic, you know, all the teachers would always yell at us because we were always goofing around, always throwing food, always making a mess, and just being teenage 8th grade boys, you know? Well, the one day we took it a little bit too far. So on the ground was just some random, it looked like a piece of lasagna, but it was like... It was, like, black and, like, green and all these different colors and was just really, really, really disgusting looking. And, of course, as an 8th grader, somebody goes, eat it. So, we all start daring this one kid who's, like, the daredevil, you know, eat anything, do anything to do it. And he's like, uh, I don't know, guys. I don't, I don't really think so. And I'm like, nah, you can do it, man. Come on, let's go, let's go. And everybody's going, come on, eat it, eat it, eat it. And we're cheering them on to eat it. And the teachers are kind of like, you know what? I kind of want to see how this plays out. But after it's I'm going to yell at them. So you could tell they wanted to yell at us, but they weren't going to just because they wanted to see if he would actually eat it. Well, after about five minutes of telling them like, to eat it and stuff and chanting them on, he eventually picked it up off the ground, and it was all sticky. He couldn't even pick it up off the ground. It was, like, stuck to the ground. Uh, picks it up and hangs it over his mouth, drops it in, starts chewing, and it was just, oh, it was nasty. It was, like, one of the nastiest things I might have ever seen. And, you know, everybody's going, ew, ew, ew. And then, of course, the teacher walks over, what's going on? And we're like, oh, nothing, nothing, nothing. And my friend's over here trying to chew it down, going, <laughs> like, about to throw up. And we're all laughing, you know, because it was all just hysterical. And, like, after about a minute or two, after everybody was done laughing and just cracking up and just in disbelief that he actually ate it, like, it was unthinkable that he would actually eat it. Um, our friend started not feeling so good. I I was sitting next to him, and then we were all, it was a, it's a circle table, so we were all, like, in a circle, and I was sitting next to him, and I kind of looked over, and he was kind of green. And, if, you know, I was kind of like, oh, crap, he's gonna do something, like, throw up everywhere or something. Well... I looked at him, I was like, dude, are you alright? He's like, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm fine. And you could tell, like, he was really messed up from eating that. So, then he started trying to act all brave and tough and stuff. Like, like he really looked like he was gonna, like, pass out or, like, just fall over and die. He, like, he looked that bad. And we were like, dude, go to the bathroom, go to the nurse. And we're, like, ready to, like, take him there, like, carry him there. And he's like, no, I don't need it, I'm good, I don't need to go. And this just ended up going on for about five minutes and, you know, to the point where we're like, all right, whatever, if you throw up, it's not our fault. So we carry on with our conversations, you know, about five minutes later, my friend just goes, Bleh! and he throws up everywhere, all over the table, like it covered the entire table. He looked, and as he was throwing up, I look, I stand up, he looks at me standing up, he throws up on my shoes, then he looks at the other guy standing up, throws up on his pants, then he stood up, still puking, and just started walking out the door. And me and my friends are just like, oh my gosh, 
did he seriously just throw up on us? So, in total, he threw up on four people. He got the one kid's arm, my shoes, part of my leg, the other kid's whole lower body, and he got a little bit on the other kid's shoulder, which was really nasty. But anyways, you know there's that, like, moment of shock where you're just standing there and everybody's just like, oh, crap, what do we do? Well, you know, we're the table in the corner, so we everybody hears this kid throwing up and sees us all just starting to stand up and run away. So I'm standing there not knowing what to do. The whole cafeteria is looking at me and four of my friends. And my friend to the right of me, oh my gosh, the friend to the right of me got super sick because he got threw up. Like he was just so disgusted that he throws up. So my friend next to me throws up, gets more on my shoes. He gets on the other kid that got on his lower body. He gets it on his chest because he was in the way to get, get, go out to the bathroom. So there's two kids throwing up in the hallway, puke all over our table and all over the walkway, all over my shoes and on my legs, all over this kid's entire body and all over this kid's shoulder. So I'm just thinking... I'm not throwing up because I don't really get sick. These two better not throw up. And as I think that, I look across the auditorium at all these staring faces at me. And I just see this one kid get up, starts running. Blah! He throws up everywhere. He throws up all over the other side of the cafeteria. So right now, there is really only one way to walk out. And you'd have to walk down that aisle then the other door was blocked with puke, and you'd have to go around the other side where there was more puke and go through that door. So everybody in the cafeteria right now is kind of freaking out like, oh my gosh, am I going to die? Is this like Ebola or something? And I'm, I'm kind of starting to laugh out of this. I'm thinking like, what am I going to do next? So the kid that threw up ran down the aisle, and you know, he was like, he was going to throw up, so he was trying to run out to the bathroom. Well, he couldn't make it to the bathroom, and he gets to this table full of, like, you know that, like, group of girls that are all like, Oh, I'm all that. I'm all that. Gossip, gossip, gossip. Yeah, well, he gets to their table, of course. So, he's thrown up on, he threw up on, like, five of these girls' backs. And he, they're all just going, screaming everywhere, running everywhere. Then other people start standing up because they're like, oh crap, are they going to throw up on me? And it just causes this chain reaction of everybody standing up, kind of panicking. The teachers are like, not knowing what to do. I'm still standing there. And then this happens. So, one of the girl that gets puked on on their back, you know, is like, oh, it's all about me, it's all about me, no, not my $200 shirt. Runs over, slips in some other guy's puke, now she's covered in puke. This other kid sees it, he pukes, so that's three people that have puked now, and it just caused this massive chain reaction of people puking, because it was lunchtime, like we had just got done eating lunch, and everybody starts puking, and it was the funniest thing I have ever seen. I think in total, it was 14 kids threw up, and I think 75 of them were thrown up on. Like, 75 people got thrown up on, and I was one of them, but I was one of the first, so I'm kind of standing there, just, like, dealing with it. But these other people, I'm just seeing people running around the entire lunchroom, screaming their heads off because they're getting puked on. These other people standing up on tables, puking. I don't know why they were standing on tables, but they were. The t then I looked over to the teachers, and that was the greatest reaction I've ever seen. I looked over at the teacher... And I just see him put his hand on his face, rub his chin, and said, crap. <laughs> he didn't know what to do. He goes, gets the nurse, but <laughs> it was too late for the nurse. Oh my gosh, it was one of the greatest experiences ever. They, In the end, they told us to all go out into the foyer. Um, they took the people that got puked on into the, like, the bathrooms, and they gave us new clothes and stuff, and the people that puked were not at school the next day, and that was just the talk for the rest of the year. That, it was the greatest thing I may have ever witnessed 
in my life. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my story. If you want more of these, leave a like and comment below. I hope you had a good time watching this video. I had a good time making it. I will see you guys in the next episode. And as always, goodbye. We call that ballin', doing this is my callin'.